Let's talk about the mutual induction. It's one of the interesting area where we'll be using a couple of uh, coils uh, to express the mutual induction. So whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil, there is also a change of flux linked with the neighboring coil. Producing an induced EMF in the second coil. So this phenomenon producing an induced EMF in a coil due to the change in the other coil, current in the other coil is known as mutual induction. Considering the coil P and S, there are two coils placed close each other and P is connected to a battery and to a key K, S is connected to the galvanometer. On pressing K, current in P starts from 0 to a maximum value. As the flow of current increases, the magnetic flux are linked with the P will get increases. Therefore, the magnetic flux linked with S also increases, producing an EMF which can be shown by the deflection of the galvanometer. So, according to the Lenz law, the induced current in S would oppose the increase in current in P by flowing a direction opposite to the current in P, thus delaying the growth of current to the maximum value. When the key K is released, the currents are decreasing from maximum to zero value. Consequently, the magnetic flux linked with the P will get reduced. Therefore, the magnetic flux linked with the S also decreases and hence an EMF is induced in S. So, according to Lenz law, the induced current in S flows in such a direction so as to oppose the decrease in current in P, thus prolonging the decay of current.